from Ta Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and we're going to start a series of lecture on the abdominal region. So this is just an introduction of the abdominal region. In the further videos, we're going to make a little bit detailed video about every content, every part, every muscle that is in the abdominal region. So this is just an introduction. So let's get started. So the abdomen or you can say midriff or belly is actually the body space between your thorax and pelvis so here is here is it to understand it the upper part of your abdomen is actually formed by the diaphragm and the lower part is actually formed by the pelvis at the pel uh, pelvic brim so this space or you can say cavity between the abdo between the your diaphragm and the pelvis is called the abdomen i hope i made clear the definition of the abdomen so in this section we're going to discuss three main things regarding the abdomen the first thing is we are going to have the understanding of the longitudinal section what i mean by the longitudinal section i mean by that we are going to move from outside to the inside towards the abdominal cavity so we're going to outside from your skin from outside towards inside and the other thing we're going to discuss a few contents and in the final phase we're going to talk about the functions of your abdomen so let's start with the longitudinal section when we move from outside to inside the abdominal cavity uh, before discussing this i have to clear one thing that there are four main muscles in the abdominal region the first one is rectus abdominis the external oblique muscle the internal oblique muscle the transversus muscle in this diagram we have only shown three or in this longitudinal section we have shown three main muscles the muscle which we haven't shown is the erectus abdominis because it's not included in this picture so that the erectus abdominis is actually the more anterior muscle look at it more anteriorly and it's a vertical muscle you you know you got six abs you know about six abs and you're uh, all that so these six abs muscles are actually your rectus abdominis muscle get it when you are having a six pack you, you just when you ever see a six pack you just think about that's the rectus abdominis muscle we're going to talk about all these muscles in very much detail their blood supply the nervous system all that thing in our uh, next videos but now just talk about uh, this uh, just about an introduction so as we move from outside to inside at the first place we got a skin we have to encounter skin then we have a cross as we cross the skin we're going to have an adipose tissue as we cross the adipose tissue we're going to cross the superficial fascia that is in green as we cross the superficial fascia we encounter three main muscles which i have talked about so the outermost or you can see the external muscle uh, the is the actually external oblique muscle as you cross the external oblique muscle you'll encounter the internal oblique muscle as you cross the internal oblique muscle there's an other kind of muscle this is the transversus muscle so three main muscles external oblique internal oblique and transverse muscle as you cross the transverse muscle you encounter other fascia this fascia was actually the superficial fascia and this one is the transversalis fascia there's a different fascia you cross the transversal fascia you again can encounter the adipose tissue and as you cross the adipose tissue, you encounter the parietal peritoneum. So peritoneum is actually a layer which has two parts. There is a visual peritoneum and the parietal peritoneum. Exactly the same way is the pleural cavity, which has got a pleural, visual pleura and the parietal pleura. Similar here, we have got the parietal peritoneum, which is, out, uh, which is uh, covering this, uh, this layer. As we move out inward, there are cavities and we again encounter uh, the other uh, part of the uh, peritoneum, that is the visual visual peritoneum so that's it for the longitudinal section again just repeat it it's skin we cross it adipose tissue superficial fascia external oblique muscle internal oblique muscle transverse muscle only three muscles Adipo uh, we got uh, the transversalis fascia we got the adipose tissue again we got the perito uh, parietal peritoneum that's it regarding the longitudinal section now let's talk about the contents so in the content section uh, you have to be clear that all the digestive organs are actually present in your abdominal region so these organs are actually held together loosely by a connective tissue or by the connective tissue that allow them to expand and slide against each other like 
you are going to have to slide each other because there's a space in it, a space around it. So the main of the main contents are by what I mean by the contents, I mean the structure that are present in the abdomen are the stomach, small and large intestine, pancreas, liver, and your gallbladder. One thing is missing, I believe, and that's a kidney. We haven't got kidney here. All right, a few other structures are missing. I'm sorry about that. But you have to add up the kidney and other structure that are that are also included in the contents, or you, you can comment us below which structure is missing. Now let's talk about the function. So we have, uh, in, the, in the case of function, uh, we, we know we have an idea that the in the abdominal region, most of the digestion occurs in the abdominal region because the stomach, all those uh, liver, your gallbladder, all those incre your pancreas are increasing those uh, enzymes, hormone enzymes, you know, all are present in your abdominal region. So it's a good uh, good path, good, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's actually a place where most of the digestion occurs. So in the main function, or you can see of the abdomen is actually, in this case, uh, the other function is actually the breathing. We have talked about the breathing very much in detail in our past videos regarding uh, when we have talked about the thorax in our, um, in our about last lectures. So we have made it clear, but it, uh, the, the abdomen also helps in the posture. So how it helps in the posture, let me explain it. So the transversus muscle and the internal oblique muscles are both are actually involved in rotation and lateral flexion of the spine and are used to, to used to bend and support the spine from the front. But the external oblique, uh, you can say, are actually is the most more superficial, and they are actually they are actually. Um, they are actually also involved in the rotation and lateral flexion of your spine and uh, They also help to stabilize the spine when you are standing upright All right, so when you're standing upright the main muscle that is going to support you is actually the uh, Most uh, superficial muscle that is the external oblique muscle and this is how these uh, things are going to help in uh, uh, the uh, posture so this is it regarding the introduction of the abdomen. Uh, we make sure we make uh, other detailed videos regarding all the topics. I hope I made it clear and very much easy. So if you're, there is any question, please make sure to comment us and let us know. And keep visiting Tiger Schooling.